Hello, welcome back to the channel and Vlogmas. So with my videos this month, I've been wanting to try to keep them lighthearted as I've been coming up with ideas, but there is one thing that I saw on Twitter that I cannot let go. I was scrolling through Twitter last night before I was going to sleep and I came across this tweet from Death Noodles who shows this video of a couple's channel and a guy crawling around on the floor searching for his wheelchair. So we have this couple's channel called MNK TV and the boyfriend, he is disabled, he's in a wheelchair. I believe it's from an accident, a car accident that was caused and the girlfriend is an abled woman. One thing to know about couple channels is that those as a whole kind of tend to be problematic for various reasons that we don't want you to get into because that's not the point of this video. Sometimes these couple channels will do like pranks on each other. And sometimes the uh, person who's being pranked on may actually be in on it. The other one may not be after all. So in this video you see that this girl is going to give an introduction talking about what she's going to do. The video is uncaptioned so I just have to go with whatever it is. It's not, it doesn't even have auto captions. Everything's turned off. I'm assuming that she's going through the backstory of what she's going to do. You see the boyfriend sleeping and then you see her take the wheelchair and take it down the hallway and put it wherever. And then she has cameras hidden around and you see the guy dragging himself across the floor. He has no walk ability whatsoever. This wheelchair is his legs. I know people love to use the term wheelchair bound and other things that's actually having ableist undertones. It's an ableist term. Wheelchair user is the one you want to use. Wheelchairs actually provide freedom. Wheelchair using. They provide freedom. They are your legs. So to see this guy crawling around the house because he can't find his wheelchair. You know what that is? Abuse. You want to play it off as a joke. It's abuse. You are abusing your boyfriend. You're abusing your partner and thinking it's funny to hide the one thing that he needs the most for YouTube views. And 12,000, actually now 14,000 people like this video. And in the comments of the Twitter thread on Death Noodles and uh, somebody else who originally posted it as well, everybody's like, why is this happening? I can't believe people would be sick enough to do this. I gotta let you know something. This is not uncommon. Abuse against disabled people, whether you know them or not, whether they know them or not, is very common. People are abusing their disabled spouses, girlfriends, partners, boyfriends, family members, kids, parents, siblings. This is a plot device on uh, numerous TV shows as well. I've seen on a Reddit thread those am I the asshole or relationship issues subreddit the threads that go on twitter people will be talking about how their partners are hiding their hearing aids their canes whatever and thinking it's funny to see what happens and in the title of this particular video you find out that he cries and you know what else happens in the video when he's sitting there crying because he's finally being given a wheelchair and he's like his face is just like what the hell's going on you can see how upset he is a lot of people might are wondering if he's in on it if he somehow happens to be in on it he sure knows how to make it believable that he is not but when he's being understandably upset and crying, she has that filter, the raining filter, and is trying to make it look like a joke. I'm sure she probably has the uh, rain, sad violin music on there as well. And all I can think is, if you're willing to do this uh, in public for YouTube videos, for views, to try to get money off of this, what the heck are you doing in private? This is also someone who became disabled later in life. Understandably so, there, there, when you become disabled in life, whether it's you become deaf in, later in life or you become blind or paralyzed later in life, that becomes extra stressful versus if you just happen to grow up blind, grow up deaf from a very young age. That's something, when you grow up from it from a very young age, that isn't necessarily something that you missed. That's not the case for everybody, but it, that does make it easier. But when you, you're in your teenage years or whatever, and you're in an accident and you become disabled, it's a much harder struggle. It's a it's a harder journey for anyone. So I can understand that he's even more stressed out. He's even more upset. He's even more sad that he doesn't have the one thing that he needs to be able to get around. His whole life was already turned upside down. And now this girl is not 
helping at all. And of course now the video has 14,000 likes like I said, but as of right now it also has 14,000 dislikes. The comments have been turned off, so obviously she's not wanting to hear the feedback of it all. I don't know how this guy feels about it now. If you want to do pranks on your significant other, go for it, but there's some pranks that you just don't do, and really this is one of them. It's extremely abusive, it's extremely ableist. Pranks are supposed to be funny. They might make you a little bit upset in the beginning, but they're still supposed to be lighthearted enough so that you're not too upset. <laughs> And thankfully a lot of people in the comments, I haven't seen one comment in the multiple threads I've seen about it actually be happy about this. Just everybody being surprised that people would be sick enough to do this. Again, it's common. It's way too common. Alright, so that's something that I wanted to get off my chest. Sorry this isn't a, as much as a feel-good video as I was hoping that it would be, but I think it's important to let people be aware of what they're watching, who they're watching. If you want to give this video a share to let people be aware of the abuse that does happen and an interabled relationship, feel free. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that very much, and I will see you later.